Did you know that Jamaica as a nation is one of the smallest sprinting country in the whole wide world, but yet it has been able um, to produce what class professional sprinters in the world? But guess what is happening right now? The sprinting factory nation Jamaica is slowly losing its name as the strongest sprinting factory nation in the whole wide world the reason is because of this year performance from jamaican athlete a lot of people are starting to ask so many nasty and crazy questions like will jamaica medal in paris olympic um so much because jamaica never carry last they are, like they are always on top in every international world class competition they are always taking first position in most races but um looking at this year performance from numerous athletes from these jamaican sprinters um the, the prediction about um their performance in paris olympic um it is safe to say that um they will not medal so much um in this year olympics this is johan blake recently he withdraw from a race because he was injured and let us remember that this year um johan blake performance is very very poor and looking at the male sprinting side of jamaica there is no hope for gold medal at the paris olympic and it is very sad to say that since the retirement of all symbol um jamaica has not yet produced a very world-class professional male sprinter like all symbol and what about the female side well jamaica have always been producing that female that will always represent them to get a gold medal in any world-class competition but it seems like this year is gonna be different with the coming of a new queen in track world shakara which is um, this girl this woman has been dominating since last year who is, who is jamaica gonna send in order um to stop this girl shakara which is um, from taking that gold medal in paris olympic 100 meters could it be shelly could it be ellen or could it be sharika well ellen recently was defeated by shakara richardson and we all saw that we all were shocked in fact she didn't just defeat ellen thompson hira ellen thompson hira was left in the last um position and um in last year 2023 shakara richardson did the same thing defeating both sharika and shelly Humphreys of fries at the 100 meters it is safe is it very safe to say that um jamaican dominance in the 100 200 meter female sprinting has finally come to an end will shelly and freezer fries be able to defend defend jamaica this year at the paris olympic now a man from jamaica made a comment about jamaican athlete and he said all the jamaican women sprinters seems to be enjoying life rather than training ellen showed that she had not trained at all and what he means is that the jamaican are relaxing they are not training hard as other athletes but let's not forget that this guy these sprinters are human being just like us let us not forget that jamaica always deliver when it matters and i trust shelly and fears of rise to defeat ellen thompson hira at this paris olympic 2024 unless she has an injury and watching what shelly watching ellen getting defeated definitely should is reminding her that okay shakara richardson um is ready for paris olympics she is definitely ready and she is going for the gold medal so shelly will have to um match up her energy i think so definitely <laughs> now this is kishani thompson and he he is the one rep that is supposed to represent jamaica at the paris olympic but unfortunately recently he withdrew from a race because of his injury many jamaican athletes are um treating their injury and probably it has contributed to the reason of their for their performances and this guy is one of the best 400 meter runner um akim bromified recently he retired um um from athletics in general and it def it should have contributed um so you know reducing the chance of jamaica dominating in paris now at its stand only akim blake um will represent the male sprinting side of jamaica in paris olympics let me hear your opinions and don't forget to subscribe